Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban on the PS2 again. Don't worry, I've got an exciting adventure lined up. I'm gonna to go to bed. That'll be all for today, folks. <laughs> Just end the episode right there. Fifteen ads. <laughs> Harry, Ron and Hermione's attentions turned to Hagrid. Oh, finally, I can relate to these characters. How could you not have your mind turned to Hagrid? Let's get to the class early so that we can give Hagrid some support. Oh, we're going to Hagrid's first care of magical creatures. Can't wait. She's just walking on her own. What's she doing? I'm trying to read this. Oh, yeah, the Remembral and the stone circle in the grounds. Okay, I'll look for that. Please get out of my way, NPC. Jesus Christ. I feel like people in the supermarket and stuff are exactly like that. Like, they must be NPCs. It frustrates me to no end that you'll be trying to just walk walk down an aisle and everyone just stops and loads for a while. They don't even seem to be looking at it. You know what? I'm playing a game. I love video games, you guys. Let's keep playing. <laughs> I don't know why it forced me to play as Hermione in this section of the game. Maybe girls are just better at stairs. I seem to always struggle with them, to be fair. What the hell? All right, okay. I thought the game had just banished me to this uh, empty world. <laughs> the gate was locked and there was just nothing going on out there. <laughs> like these people who lost things, no way did they actually lose them. Look at that, it's in plain sight. <laughs> they only made me go here because they were too lazy to get it Great. themselves. They're like, oh yeah, I lost it, but it's exactly at this point of the school. <laughs> Can someone go find it? The hell is that light? Is that just because I need to go there or is that a graphical glitch? Is that just like the light of God shining down on Hagrid? You know what? Switch character, she's on LSD. Oh my god, what are you doing back here? Let's switch back, switch back. I'll happily take LSD Hermione over them back at the entrance hall. Okay, there was feck all here. It was actually just LSD. What the hell is that? I say kill it. I don't know what it is, but kill it. Wait, there's something there. It's shining. Is something wrong? <laughs> something feels like there's something wrong. Oh, <gasps> there he is. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. I'm so excited and nervous at the same time. It's like being on a roller coaster, but the roller coaster is love. Oh, we froze up. <laughs> we got so close to him and then our minds just stopped. We couldn't think straight. G up there. What? G up there? I'm gonna start using that as my intro. G up there. Kevin here. <laughs> Everyone will immediately just close off the video. Wait, why is Hermione going? This isn't canon, is it? They're all about respect, these creatures. In the movie, they bow, but I'm gonna attack to uh, assert dominance. Stop it. He's way more annoyed about me hitting that than he is about me hitting him. Ron knows what's coming. He doesn't even care about Harry. That seems out of character. It's also very upsetting since I am Harry. I'm doing a mating dance with it. How the feck do I actually bow for it? Ron, you're used to submitting to things higher up the food chain like Harry. Maybe you can do it. Stop it, Ron. Let Hermione have a go. <laughs> The teacher has literally given up on Ron. <laughs> he attempts to actually write it. He's like, stop it, Ron. Who do you think you are trying to use a hippogriff? Feckin' Egypt. All right, I bowed. Now, Ron, you go on it. Wasn't Hermione the one attacking it? Well done. I guess it did work. Catch as many as you can. How did he feckin' get them in there? He had like 12 live bats inside that chest. Like, how did he gather them all up inside the chest and then close it without them flying away? He doesn't know magic. Oh, wait, I'm getting off, apparently. Yeah, I also agree that it's Ron's turn. What on earth are you doing? I can only give that an F. <laughs> Why are you giving me an F, man? I still bowed to it. Like, I managed to tame it. That's gotta count for something. Oh my god, Jesus, that is a sudden takeoff. I can't even handle planes. How can I handle this? Uh, Hagrid, what do I do? <laughs> you gonna help me out here? I know I'm looking for the bats, but how am I supposed to see them? Oh, I see. Okay, they're all in one clump. Again, pretty impressive. He just got four in one bite, too. I can hear Ron sighing below. It's like the intention is off him for five seconds and he already gets moody. You'd think he'd be used to it by now. Oh my god, he's so strong. <laughs> I tried to kill him. <laughs> he's kind of annoying me. Oh my god, I missed them all. Jesus Christ, this is a lot harder than it looks. It's not actually that bad when you get used to it. Oh god damn it, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah, ah, I always jinx myself. Don't make me repeat this. Please god, don't make me repeat this. Just get enough, come on, get enough, come on, just... Oh dear. <laughs> I'm a very bad pilot. Okay, there's only one in the sky. Surely that's gotta count for something. I'd say that deserves an A. Ah, uh, that's more like it, Hagrid. Thank you. you Ugly great brute. Oh, I was worried there for a second. I looked away and then I th looked back and he was calling something a great ugly brute. I thought he was talking about a Hagrid. Unaware that events that day would take an even worse turn. 
Wait, the day is going bad? Hermione got an A. Everyone was happy. Malfoy got attacked. That's good, right? Look at him just alone. He's got his own stand and everything. Dementors swarmed over the pitch, and with his mother's screams ringing in his ears, Harry fell from his broom and knew no more. That looks a lot better than the PC version looked. Can we get a little flashback to the PC version of that? Wait, am I not even going to get to play? I don't even get to play! What the feck is that? And then we get some Space Invader shit, they're like 8-bit Dementors coming at me. I got ripped off! I wanted to play some feckin' Quidditch! It's so good. Oh, he's dreaming about Hagrid. <laughs> Hello, Harry. Follow me! Okay, I guess we're leaving the hospital now. <laughs> Ron? Do, is, is something fecky happen here? I don't know. Ron's acting a bit strange, but then again, he's already strange, and he's even stranger in the games. I feel like this is a trap, I just can't remember it. Someone disguises themselves as Ron, right? I'm not sure, I don't know. Okay, he's already got himself stuck. Maybe it is the real Ron. <laughs> Keep out of the way! What? What What are you trying to say? <laughs> what the hell is that about? I got hit by a vase, and then he's complaining that I don't keep out the way. Your secret's not safe now, I'm in on the joke! Oh, okay, so yeah, I think Peeves is actually helping me out here. And I'm dying to see your plans go up in smoke! I would like if he was a little bit more direct with me, though. I don't know, I seem to be able to break free. I'm just walking right in this stuff. Leave me alone, you imbecile. Okay, yeah, that doesn't seem like Ron. <laughs> Harry would just immediately cast a Vatican cadaver and just kill him. Okay, yeah, I don't really know how to fight him here. <laughs> I'm trying to leave. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm just supposed to hit him. Okay, I can only hit him sometimes, though, which is confusing, to say the least. You know, I know he's like a little prankster and all that, but if the school found out he's literally throwing vases at a student's head, getting impossible brain damage, would they allow him to continue to do this sort of stuff? You'd think he'd be removed from the school fairly lively. Sorry about, you know, the lively thing. I know you're a ghost and all that, but I don't really care about offending you when you're literally throwing hard objects at my head. Throw him at Ron, he won't even feel a thing. He's got nothing to damage. <laughs> this isn't suspicious at all, is it? Like, even if Ron was acting normal, why would you be following him? <laughs> He's not cluing in at all. He's just like, come on, man. <laughs> even if he was acting normal, I'd just go to bed anyway. Ron, what are you doing? We can't take on serious Black on our own. Come on. <laughs> he had to process the question for that long just to say, Come on! <laughs> A reasonable answer, though, at least. We've got to get Professor Dumbledore. Will you shut up? He's in the corner! Go on! What, Dumbledore? <laughs> How could you not pick up on this guy acting like this when you've known him for years and he's been your best friend? Ron? Oh, look at that. That's convenient timing. Apologies, Potion. I think we're even now. Wait, why are we getting even? I don't understand. What did I do to you? Was it the hippogriff? I didn't do that. Oh, look who it is. Look who showed up just in time. You've been following along this whole time just so you could be the hero for once? Always gotta be about Ron. <laughs> Any excuse to get in a small pit with me, right, Ron? <laughs> How do I get out of here? Oh wait, there's an exit, like, That's right the there, but I guess Ron will need to see it. He's got the Weasley touch after all, as we discovered last time. That's done it! Oh my Jesus. There's a literal army behind this wall, what were they waiting for? Oh wait, actually, they're really small, okay? <laughs> this should actually be fine. Feckin' hell! Sorry! As if that was an accident, Harry. <laughs> he wanted to punish me for letting him get into danger like that. He's still holding it against me the way I acted, even though it wasn't me. It's like when you're in a relationship with someone and they dream that you cheated on them and they're mad at you in real life. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, I was confused because I was Ron dropping down and then the cutscene just changed to Harry dropping down. Ah, he calmed me right down. The music went from super intense to really calm all of a sudden as soon as Hedwig appeared. God, he's not that excited about finding the exact item he needed in a chest right next to where he was. I'd be ecstatic. <laughs> fetch Hermione. Oh, I gotta fetch Hermione. Okay, women power. Gotta save the day. Not sure why I even need her. Like, what's she gonna do? And how am I gonna bring her back? Fetch Hermione. I'm trying. God damn, I'm a bird. <laughs> what are you expecting from me? I like how she still comes down here. Like, now we're all stuck in here. <laughs> 
You could have just gone and got a teacher, you know? It's like you're in quicksand and all your friends immediately jump into the quicksand with you. It's like, oh, at least we're all in this together now. Oh, she's dead. Okay, well, good thing she came over here for her friends. An inch from death and she still followed them into this stupid position they've gotten themselves into. How come with Harry and Ron, they were just trying to beat the shit out of them with the bats? And with Hermione, they just throw stink bombs that do no damage and then wave their butts at her. Okay, now they're trying to murder her. <laughs> okay, that seems about right. Right, actually. Look how happy she is. <laughs> She's like, I could die anytime I want. What a wonderful feeling. <laughs> ah, yes. This has to be Reparo, I guess, because there's a lot of broken things around. Very handy. I learn more falling into pits than I do in classes. I don't like that. I don't like the way the menu talks to you. It it, it sounds like a, a voice in my head, you know? It's like an, an ASMR, but internal. Like, it's actually been implanted in my head. You probably don't feel the same way. <laughs> it just, I, I don't like it, okay? <laughs> oh, I like this spell. This is cool. It's like a little superpower. I don't even attempt to dodge it. I just run straight through the fire for poor Hermione. <laughs> and she's dead because of it. <laughs> Oh my god, I had to go so far back! Ah, oh, maybe I should take care of her, but I really don't want to. Wait, are they still just holding the door up? There you go, boys. Wouldn't be surprised if they just continued to hold on to it and got pulled up. What do we do, Hermione? Just leave go, please. Look at them just walking into the fire. They've learned from the master. Their health is just going down. Can you just not go in the fire, please? This thing is literally running away. I don't know what to do about this. It keeps running through the fire and everything. Oh my god, this is infuriating. <laughs> it keeps running away. It's gonna make me die by making me run through fire. The thing is a master tactician. Oh, thank god I got it. Oh, Hermione's dead again. <laughs> I am also almost dead. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> no time for friends, even though she came all the way down here an inch from death to save us. Oh, sweet Jesus, he's got a shield. Just feckin' run. Leave Harry and Hermione deal with it. They don't call me run for nothing. Oh, wait, my name is Ron? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, Harry's in great health. He's in great spirits, so we'll, we'll go with him. I'm hoping he won't see me. <laughs> he has no peripheral vision. Oh, wait, no, he got me. The fecker. He's the best prefect we've ever seen in this school. What are we even doing now? <laughs> What's the objective? I've been just trying to escape. <laughs> Get back to my normal life. Oh, escape from the dungeons to the entrance hall. Well, that's going to take ages. I made it. <laughs> if I literally walk like three more steps. We still haven't got any Graphorn Horn for Snape's potions class tomorrow. Um, Hermione? Oh my god, he did something. Look how shocked Harry is. It's like, what? He actually did something? <laughs> Another day over, and a new one's just begun. Winter came to Hogwarts. I think it actually is Christmas, and I was singing a little Christmas song. That's really fitting. Maybe I'm magic, and I can predict the future. I'm going to go to Hogwarts and meet Ron. No, I, I, no actually, I don't want to go. <laughs> Oh, he's getting moody. He's the only one who's had, like, a reaction so far out of all the people I've assaulted. I think this school just doesn't really care about assault. <laughs> like, we were attacking people in Snape's class last episode. We attacked Buckbeak, uh, Draco, even though he attacked us first. Uh, we attacked Hagrid. I've attacked each other numerous times. I got vases thrown at me. Maybe it's just not a crime in the wizarding world. And look, he doesn't give a shit anymore either. He's forgotten. Stop it! Okay, he's getting emotionally charged again now. <laughs> Better stop it. Or in his words, stop it! Anyway, I guess we're gonna end it there. We got a lot done today. Actually, did we? I, uh, we went to, uh, we, we, we got baited by Draco and, uh, that's kind of it. Uh, he made a fool of us, pretty much. That's all that happened this episode. But the great hero, Ronald Weasley, took care of him. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If you- Oh my god, what is going on with him? <laughs> I think he likes me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> if you enjoyed, let me know if you want to see more. And, uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Appreciate you watching, as always, folks. Bye for now.